This is where we get all the footy fix for the midweek and uh, we get the best in the business into the Richard Marsland studios to handle it for us. Jason Dunstall, former Hawthorne superstar, and Damien Barrett, the uh, best, news, best news breaker in footy, are both here. Hello, Chief. Hello, Jim. How are you? They're looking very golfy. I'm presuming you had a strike today. I did. You know, uh, my lack of ability means golf is a waste of time. At Ooh, the best of times geez. for me, this morning, mm-hmm. I wasted my waste of time. <laughs> Cold it and windy it would have been. It was freezing and got colder as the morning progressed. Body creaking. Hello, Damo. Hello, uh, JB, Bill and Chief. A lot of people ask you when you're doing sporties and things, just uh, touching the people out there in the community and doing freebies. <laughs> oh, uh, you've never done a freebie in your life. In his life... A lot of people ask you, when a player gets fined for wrestling, he's got to pay for that, doesn't he? He most certainly does. The club and does. if the club is found to be paying for those things, the club will get in all sorts of trouble. Good. And that is an interesting thing too, because we saw, I know the, the Kangaroos players had one inst- recently where uh, Jamie McMillan actually got thrown out because <laughs> he tackled a player and got taken to ground and then the melee landed on top of him. And he got grabbed and thrown out of it, and pretty embarrassingly, too, mm. <laughs> because he's a man built similar to myself. Like you, yeah. And then proceeded to cop. I think he copped the 1,200 Did he re- for getting it? ejected out of a melee. And he wasn't did happy. He t- did he take it on? <laughs> he should have taken it on. I t- actually don't know. Surely but you But the vision was that, hilarious, because out he got thrown. And, and Boomer Harvey's a good one, because he doesn't like to pay too many fines. <laughs> hey, Bill, and, oh. I don't know any footballer that likes to part with money. Mm. Night of nights tonight. Cable TV and one of our men. Is it tonight? Tonight. Tomorrow Tomorrow. night. What are you talking about? The Acras. Yeah, the Acras. Astros. You're going to win. Don't know what you're on about. Come on, Chief. We think you're winning. Don't know what you're on about. Hey, Jim, we've got some favourite personalities that Chief's going to do tonight. I want to read out these. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow Tomorrow night, sorry. Give it a rest, Bill. The night of nights. There's got to be other things we can talk about. Cable TV's night of nights, this is. And and it's the favourite personality, male. Chief just wins. Well, he's up against. Just wins. Like Frankel. Phil Kearns. Yep, no. no Phil, sorry, Phil, 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 Phil. Super rugby star. Alex Perry. Oh, who? Nude nut with the sunnies on his head all the time. Fashion guru. No. Billy Russell, no. Channel V. No. Never heard of him. Who? Rove McManus. He's Rove, not. Rove's not even on Channel V anymore. There's a better TV win. for three years, Bill. E.T. He's in LA, Rove. Yeah, got E.T. A, got a no. few problems, E.T. Andy he, Reddinghausen. He loves his fishing, doesn't he? They just win, those blokes. No. Spear fishing. No, he's got a few uh, fish. Andrew Winter, who's on the Lifestyle Channel. Not sure what Windy does. And Danny... Cl- uh, Clayton. But, uh, chief. And the There's chief. There's never been a greater yes. moral in the history. And all I hope is that it's a gracious acceptance speech. Jim. And when you're up Jim. there, you mention me. I won't <laughs> need to make a speech. And if they're framing a market right now, they just turn me out to 1,000 no, to 1. Chief. Oh, Chief. You're winning by an absolute I wouldn't mile. have thought Can so. you give us a, a sample of his speech tomorrow night, JB? There uh, won't be one. Jim, move on. Well, I would like to think that you'd mention your mates. Who have, uh, well, how are you going to get a mention there? Who have lifted <laughs> your enormously heavy frame up to this bloody exalted height. Mm. Chief? Really well good. done, Chief. Move on. What's next? Nice Since work. you became happy, Chief, that you've getting nominated. Yeah, for that's these what sorts. happens, mate. Speaking of journos and papers, on Classified Monday night, uh, Hutchie threw this up. Carol, I must ask this question. There's industry conjecture that the Herald Sun have approached you about the Chief Football Reporter role. Excuse me? There's industry conjecture that the Herald Sun have approached you in for unofficially, as you would say, about moving papers to the Herald Sun. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Have you been approached to join the Herald Sun? I don't Herald know what Sun? you're talking about. Well, that's the question. It's not a hard yeah, one. Yeah, we, well, we're telling you what we're talking about. Has there been an approach? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So you're denying that? I said I don't know anything about it, Gary. Ooh. How more definitive can I get? I think we should go to an airport. Are you open? Bit narky there, yeah, Caro. What did you read into I, that, Bill? Well, I, I read into it that it was a bit narky from her, so there might be something in it, and I honestly don't know. Mm. The other thing is, when footballers don't answer the question yeah, sometimes, right. yeah. she does write some interesting articles about yeah. them uh, not answering the question. So what do you know, more importantly? Uh, I know the talk is out there that um, there may have been, an, and this is a term Caroline would use herself, Bill, an unofficial approach, right. as in it's not come from someone from the paper, but there is talk of that around there. Ooh, that'd be interesting going across to the little set paper. Them, set them off in there too, Bill. Oh, because you were the one. They uh, tried to get you across or back there. Oh, I don't and... know what you're talking about, Bill. Oh! <laughs> we better go to an ad break. Yeah. <laughs> they tried to get you big dollars no. too and you knocked them back. So Caro's just coming in behind you. I don't know what you're talking about, Bill. No, look, uh, um, they, they, look, they haven't replaced Mike Sheehan, um, as, and that's fact. Um, yeah. There's people in there who think they should, should get it. Um, who? The buzz? Oh, you know the guys in there, Jase. Johnny? Well, Mark think? Robinson thinks he should get it. 
Okay. Um, Johnny? So what you're saying is if Caro wandered Ruff. in there as the number one act, Oof, it, all hell would break out. loose. Is Ooh, that what you're saying, look David? Out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, that would create a very nice environment. Hey, Chief, uh, <laughs> did you ever? Uh, because when you wound up at Hawthorne, um, you refused to do the sort of around the grand final car that's, and everything. That's rubbish. <laughs> yeah, so you did. You did. You refused. Oh, um, you so did. what you also didn't do, Chief, is go and play football in the country and yes. give a bit back, which is what Fev's done, and kicked eighteen point six. It's a good effort, isn't it? I mean, you kick eighteen at any level. Yeah, and you must have done something pretty decent. Exactly. That's and the, bit, that's the crowds fantastic are fantastic for country footy. They would be loving it. Well, I know someone in Yarrawonga, and they run out of the grog. They run out of hamburgers. They make that much money through the gate. He's virtually paid for himself already. Perfect. So I reckon Perfect it's deal. fantastic because uh, country But he's not the only one doing it. You know, Barry Hall's Barry talking Hall. playing some games. Hack has been Hacker. on a national tour for a while. He's yes. been playing thereabouts. And do you, do, what, do you what, think about that, Chief? No. You? What about you, Bill? <laughs> oh, no. Mate, uh, you can still do it. Hold up a, a goal square. I can't run, Chief. I can't run. You don't have to, mate. I you didn't. Just kick it up in the air. <laughs> hey, it was good to see the two forwards. It was reminiscent of uh, Brereton and Dunstall, wasn't it, on the weekend with Cameron and um, Patton? Yeah. Well, look, you uh, did that game, Chief. He showed some great signs, Jonathan Patton, but mm. we need to keep things in perspective. All he had right. seven possessions. No, let's just go. Couple of just, clumps. Let's just go for oh, it. He's a 15 year player. Gonna, he's yeah, you're going to kick 700 the poor goals. Blokes. From look, he did a couple of things that were just seriously classy. Yes. And this is a young man that's had no preseason, had to have an operation over at Stockholm. That's in Sweden, Bill. And. <laughs> He, uh, he just lobs up in the worst possible conditions for a forward. Takes a couple of contested clunks. It was brilliant. Hey, Chief, are you actually denying that you didn't do the lap of honour at the end? Are you saying that you did or what? I did a lap out at Waverley after my last game. No, that was outstanding. So the grand final, which is where the champions, the legends yes. of the game are recognised. I had had the best send-off in front of the Hawthorne oh, faithful, oh. mate. I didn't what did you need do that to, anything. I get embarrassed by that stuff. Though. Where did he go, Chief, where did he go for his operation? Stockholm. Where's that? In Sweden. Oh, no. We're in the middle of the rough. <laughs> Bring the Swedish ship in. Chief, I don't think you get embarrassed anywhere. I do. I don't actually think it's. I don't capable. like faint praise or. Uh, no, that's not faint praise. Hundred thousand. Acknowledging one of the all-time yes. greats. Yeah, team. it would have been more abuse than acknowledgement. I would have thought. <laughs> what about, oh, what about no. tomorrow night when you get some? Oh. Praise? Yes, chief. I, well, I'll tell you right now, Astra chief. I'll send you a text. <laughs> I'll send you a text tomorrow as soon as I get my seating. Yep. Yes. Yep. And I'll be way down the back. <laughs> That's a fair broadcast. indication you will win. that there's it's nothing happening. TV tomorrow night? Is it, Sorry? Can we see it live? I wouldn't on have TV? thought so. Chief, you win. In you Sydney? Just, Chief just wins. <laughs> yes. Chief just wins. That's it. We're going to start. Chief just doesn't turn up. <laughs> is it in Sydney? <laughs> yes, Bill. Right, huh? right. You win. Yeah. Now, Bill, have you got a joke to finish this <laughs> yes, up? Yes, I oh, have. No. Because the Chief wanted it. He that, came in oh, and said, well, I'll do this as long as Bill I'm actually happy now. Don't ruin my day by one of Bill's poor jokes. Right. That's that's plastic Bertrand may yeah. be needed if it doesn't go well. Mm -hmm. It's related to one of our guests here today, oh, Jim. Yes, go on. Uh, why do gorillas have big nostrils, <laughs> Bill? <laughs> you want to reconsider which joke you're running with? <laughs> because they have big fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad one, Chief. That's, I can't say it to you off air. No. Do, you need, do we need plastic or not, Chief? What, have you got another one, Bill? Or is it no, one? good enough laugh. So, yeah, I liked it. Big on. nostrils. You've got big fingers. <laughs> oh, that shit. <there. laughs> he got it out, Chief. No, I Just as he got off the microphone, <laughs> no, I he got it. Yes. Right, a bit of plastic. Here we go. Thank you. Do I go yet? Stand Stand do not yet, Chief. You ready, Chief? You ready? Chief just wins an Astra. Yeah, Astra. Yeah, yeah. Woo Say the next line, Bill. Sat, blat, do up. It's not do up. <laughs>